today's digest and in today's video we will discuss about mean and median imputation so for this purpose i have uh, taken my file highestprice.csv and we will see how we will impute the missing values with mean and median so before going uh, let us discuss about what is mean and median so for that purpose uh, i have opened my excel so for a simple demonstration i have only three numbers here 10 15 and 18 so now if we talk about the mean so what is mean is it is simply just the sum of the numbers divided by the count of the numbers okay so i have taken the sum of these numbers 10 plus 15 plus 18 and divided by 3 so it is 14.33 same thing we can do by excel average function also if we talk, if we type okay if we type average and then so you see that the mean of these three numbers is 14.333 now if we talk about so this is our mean okay now if i talk about median so what is median so in median uh First of all, what we need to do is that we need to sort out our numbers from, you know, in descend, uh, ascending order or descending order. So whatever you do and then pick the middle number. Okay. So middle number here is 15. So the median should be 15. You can validate by saying, tell me the median of these three numbers. Okay. So here 15 is our median okay so now we will use these values to impute the missing data so before going forward let us see when we used to use when we should use the mean and median imputation so the thumb rule is uh, usually when your missing percentage is not too high uh, so for say like in practical purposes if your missing value is well beyond 5 to 10 percent then probably you should look at your data first and then decide a strategy but for this demonstration purpose, I will show you how the mean and mean median imputation is done. So let me open my notebook. So here I have opened my no notebook and uh, I have read the necessary libraries. I have imported pandas, numpy, matplotlib and cbond. So let me run this cell. Okay. And now this has been completed. So let me import the data. So I have used pandas read CSV function to import the CSV file and let us see. So this is our uh, top five rows of our data set. So that function is basically used to uh, take a glance or a brief on the data. And if you want more than five rows, let us say I want to see 10 rows. I can simply write down data.head and then I pass 10 as a parameter. So now you see that uh, I can see the top 10 rows of my data set, right? So now, uh, to check any uh, missing values guys we use data.isnull.any so what it will do it will tell us that which are all the variables which have you know a missing variables so you can see that lot frontage is showing true so it has a missing it has missing values and similarly you want to see the mean or the average missing values in any given column then you can write data.isnull.mean so it, it makes sense like the statement itself makes sense that we are from the data we are saying that which is which all values are null and we are taking a mean so you see that lot frontage has 17.7 percent data as missing so there is quite a lot of data and here i am uh, picking up the missing variables so and i'm uh, i'm take considering only uh, numeric values so you can see that obviously we cannot impute the categorical value using uh, mean and median imputation because you can calculate mean or median for uh, only your numerical data and even though even on that i'll recommend uh, you should use it on numerical continuous data only right so now what i'm doing here that i have uh, i have taken all the columns where data you can see here data where dot is dot is null dot mean is greater than zero so we are making a condition that show me only those columns where the missing value is greater than zero and the data dot d type is not equals to and the data type is not equals to so we are uh, telling python that uh, give me only those numerical values uh, variables which are missing data so now uh, we can run this cell and now if i see that you can see here also the lot front is ms vnr area and keras here built these are our numerical values 
variables. So essentially, you can see that garage year built is not a continuous numerical variable. You can see because it is a date or year variable. So uh, technically, you should use a mode or some kind of imputation for it, or uh, but uh, not the mean and median. Uh, reason being that uh, if you take mean or median of uh, of a uh, numerical variable, it can give you something like uh, uh, 0.5 also, like like you can say 2000.5. So that doesn't make any sense, right? So let us uh, plot a distribution of our uh, missing variables. So this is a good practice usually before, you know, uh, before doing any imputation or uh, learn about your data, what it is saying. And you will get a lot of information from doing this. So I have written a function here uh, and it is doing nothing but plotting the distribution of our data. So I have used the uh, KD plot from Seaborn to print uh, the data distribution. And here I have written a function. I am using this function for every variable which we captured in the missing variables numeric. So I will run this function on these variables and uh, let me do that. So you see, uh, now after seeing this data, you see that there is a peak here and there is a small peak here also. And uh, similarly, in MAS VNR area, you see that there is a peak at zero value. So, you, so essentially, what is happening here? Uh, there is a lot of zero values here. So, if you go through this data, you will see that in this particular uh, variable, the zeros are in majority. So, the most of the values are zero. So, you need to have a look at that. So, now we will uh, write a function to impute mean. So, what I have done here, I have written a function. And uh, first of all, I have copied the data frame and then rather than uh, updating the same variable, I have created a new variable just for the purpose of demonstration. And I have named it as whatever the variable plus mean underscore imputation imputed. And then I have used the pandas fill NA. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying that uh, fill the null uh, values or NA values with the mean of that particular variable. So you can see that I have, I have written as a df where plus mean underscore impu imputed. So what we'll do that? Let us say our lot, uh, lot front is. I think it is. So let us say it is uh, our uh, variable is lot front is. Then it will create a variable new variable as lot front is underscore mean underscore imputed. And the value uh, will be uh, for missing values. It will impute the mean of all those. You know all the all the values in that particular variable. So we will see that in uh, in lot frontage underscore mean underscore imputed uh, just fill all the missing values with the mean of this lot frontage variable okay and similarly i have created one more function here for the purpose of median imputation so let me run this also and now uh, let me run this function of my on my data so i'll write this and oh i think i did not run this cell so let me run it let me run this again and now okay so for once i have uh, imputed lot frontage with mean and second time i have imputed lot frontage with median and i have created two separate variables you can see that the variables will be like lot frontage plus mean imputed and lot frontage plus median imputed okay so let me run this cell i think i have run this already so let us see what we have now so now let us scroll to the rightmost and we see that we have two new variables lot front is median imputed and lot front is mean imputed right so you can see that we have Im uh, imputed all the values with mean and median and now if i see so you see that we don't we do not have any missing values in both these variables because uh, we have imputed them right so now if i run the uh, same plot again on this so you see that the mean and median for this particular variable was almost similar so you see that we do not see much of a difference in mean imputation and median imputation these are both uh, similar plots but one thing you might have noticed so the blue area is original lot front is right and the red area is after imputation so the green in the green area we are showing the distribution of lot front is original variable right without any imputation 
and now the red plot is after imputation so you see there is a sharp spike uh, around the mean of this uh, variable so that is why uh, you know uh, we since we have imputed a lot of very values with the mean of this particular variable so you see that there is a spike in here so these are the things uh, you need to you know consider because if even after you will check the distribution or blocks plot of this uh, variable you will see that there have been it has it may create a lot of outliers why because it will create a lot of values centered towards the mean so other values may seem like outlier because your your distribution will be tightly clustered towards the mean okay so this is basically how we impute any data using mean and median one thing always keep in mind guys uh, always use mean and median imputation for your numerical continuous data so that should be uh, uh, keep that in mind and uh, please understand your data before doing any sort of imputation and let us say if the missing data is very low 2% 3% then you can obviously go for it not an issue but yeah again you will have to also see the size of your data so that's all for this video thanks for your time and yes please do like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you